Good morning. It is, shoot, what is today? Wednesday, October 2nd. And today's gonna be a fun day for me. I am on my way to Frost Valley YMCA, which is where we hold camp workroom social. Um, and I go up every year before the event itself for a little walkthrough and to chat with the staff about um, the fun new things that I've got planned for this year's event. And it's our five year anniversary this year. I couldn't be more excited. We got a lot of good stuff planned. From Brooklyn, it's about a three hour drive, so I got a ways to go. Let me go ahead and get on the road. I'm not gonna film on the trek there, but thank you to the magic of video. You're gonna join me in just three, two, one. Ooh, just got bright. We're here at Frost Valley and uh, I'm about to do my walkthrough of the classroom building, which is here. So I'm not sure how much I, we can see. The lighting isn't like the best in the world. Um, maybe I'll just fill this space with some B-roll of the campus. It's really pretty. Just like that, it is now Friday. I did my walkthrough a couple days ago over at Frost Valley for Camp Workroom Social. We had a great time. I got to chat with the staff over there about all of the fun things we have in store this year. Um, and thank you for watching my little montage that I put together. It was a lot of fun for me. Um, still pretty amateur, but that's okay. I'm practicing. Um, and to kind of give this vlog some purpose this week, I wanted to give you guys a few tips um, or things that I think about when I am planning an event, whether that is our retreat, Camp Workroom Social, um, whether that is classes here in the studio, our sewing classes, um, or perhaps a community event here in New York City. So I know a lot of people are interested in creating their own community events wherever they are. I know you guys want to meet makers just like like you in your hometown. So here are just a few tips um, to produce a better event. First, I think it's really important that you have a really good understanding of why you want to create the event you want to create. So for me, every one of my events is of course centered around sewing, but deeper than that, every single one of my events, I seek to inspire and empower women to sew their own clothes. Whether that's through an actual class um, or whether it's through a social event that helps connect other women together so that they can learn from each other and find inspiration from each other. I know what my main purpose is, why I am creating the events that I create. Second, I think you should know exactly who your event is for. So like I just said in point number one, I create events for women. Now that's not to say that men aren't allowed at my events and in our sewing classes, in our Brooklyn studio especially, we get men in our classes, but I create an environment that is specifically designed to make women feel comfortable. And you know what? Men can feel comfortable in that environment too, but knowing exactly who my events are for, that helps set me apart and make amazing events for those people that I'm trying to target. And finally, I think it's so important as you, the event organizer, to be a warm, welcoming, and gracious host. So that means helping your attendees meet each other. That means um, setting expectations around how people should interact with each other. I think that it can be really hard for people to come to a gathering, especially in a room full of strangers. Um, it's up to you as the host to kind of set the ground rules um, and help people connect with each other in what is, let's be real, a totally weirdo environment. Um, although, you know, sewing people are really, really friendly, even if they're nervous. So we have that going for us. 
I hope these three tips were helpful to you. They're really easy to do and I think they are going to help you create and produce an amazing event. If you are producing an event near you anytime soon, feel free to leave the details down in the comments below and let's all go to a sewing event in our community soon. This one, I think it's time for me to end this vlog. She's getting a little antsy. Thanks so much and we will see you next week. Bye. What's up, Rosie? She's trying to push me out of the chair. She's like, I'm over this, Mom.